What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down player quirks within MLB The Show and what you need to know about it, the basics, and a very overlooked topic in today's video, something that you guys should definitely pay attention to when you're building your rosters, whether it be in franchise mode or even Diamond Dynasty or any mode. Player quirks are going to be incredibly important to impact the way your players play within the game. So first and foremost, let's talk about how to even view player quirks and what they are. So first and foremost, I'm going to go to the roster, but again, this is going to be different for other modes. Same thing for DD. You're just going to need to look at your player card for that player and scroll over. So I'm going to go to Mitch Keller here, for example, or maybe Cabrian Hayes. I'm just going to press triangle on their player card. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same control for DD. And then that's going to translate over to Xbox as the Y button. But nonetheless, let's take a look real quick and we can see the player's attributes. Now we can see that I've bumped Mitch Keller up a little bit based on his performance this year and winning a Cy Young Award, so he's getting a lot of pluses in those categories, but nonetheless, in order to get the actual corks and see what's going on with these players, we're going to have to press R1 or the right bumper a few times to get over to quirks, and there we can see a listing of what quirks these players actually have, and these are actually really similar to what you would get in Road to the Show, and so if you're familiar with Road to the Show at all, these are going to be very similar to player perks within Road road to the show. All of these different little cards that you're going to have that do different things, uh, there are, are various ones here that give actual attribute increases to your player within the game, but there are also ones that are going to give you in-game bonuses in certain situations. That's more what the quirks are like. So if we actually go over to my collection and my inventory, and we take a look at my equipment and perks and look at perks, there are some here that are very similar to quirks, and I think they're actually the same as the quirks within the game. There might be some differences, but right here, base commander significantly increases speed while stealing, and there's going to be very various other ones that are situational like that, that are just like that. Significant exit velocity boost in the seventh inning or later. Those are very similar to what quirks do, and quirks can be very important because as I just stated right there, those are some pretty powerful additions that you can have, and uh, that can affect the way that your players play significantly within game. This is going to affect you substantially if you are actually playing games, whether it be Franchise or uh, Diamond Dynasty or any of those modes. So looking at Mitch Keller's quirks, he has untouchable, grounded, and cheesy. And just reading through those real quick, excels at striking hitters out, excels at limiting home runs, throws an extremely effective fastball. So you might be wondering, okay, well, how does a player get quirks and how are they assigned to them? How do they determine which quirks a player has? Can a player unlock different quirks and things like that? And the answer to all of that is as follows. First and foremost, these quirks are going to be completely dependent on a player's ratings. So while they are dependent on a player's ratings and they're basically just dictating the player has a certain threshold in their ratings, it is still going to impact the way they play on the field. So for example, right here, excels at striking hitters out. That's going to be related to their K's per nine number. And that's going to be a threshold depending on how high it is. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an example. I'm going to go to the bottom of my roster and pick this catcher, Chris Mann, and I'm going to take a look at his quirks. He has absolutely nothing listed on this page, but we can certainly give him quirks by editing his attributes. So we'll take his contact on both sides up to a 99, and we'll do the same thing for his power and show you guys that that's going to add a few quirks for him that are going to help him play in game and affect the way that he is hitting the ball. So now looking at Chris Mann, he now has that 99 contact on both sides, 99 power on both sides, and he now has hitting machine and bomber excels at getting base hits, excels at hitting home runs. So that's going to give in-game bonuses to this player, abilities to do better in certain situations. A lot of these things are situational, and that's going to be extremely helpful to have on your team. But again, the thing to know here is that they are earned at a certain attribute threshold. So Brian Reynolds here has won the MVP for me now, and he's the best player in the league. He's progressed significantly. You can see his ratings are all 
almost maxed out really at this point, which is kind of crazy. But nonetheless, he's going to have a massive number of quirks. And those are coming not from just playing and playing well, but coming from his ratings developing to a certain point. So you don't necessarily have to target players that are predisposed to have a quirk within the game. So I don't necessarily have to go out here and find players that already have quirks, as long as I know that I can develop my players and get quirks on them. Now we're not going to go through every single quirk today and say what every single one of them does, and I'm certainly not going to go through today and tell you the thresholds for every single quirk, because as you guys can see, there's a heck of a lot of them. There are a lot of things here that are going to be beneficial to you though, and it is worth knowing that you can acquire a lot of these things. So I just want to look through the list that Brian Reynolds has to show you guys what is accessible, because Brian Reynolds doesn't come in with all of these quirks. I mean, rarely misses the ball when swinging. That's really helpful to have. Excels at drawing walks and check swinging. I mean, a lot of that's going to be dependent on user input. Excels at stealing bases, has elite running speed, performs better when there are runners on base. That's good to know. Excels at sacrifice, bunting and drag bunting, avoids injuries and recovery at a high rate. These are all super important things to have. Performs better when the team is behind, performs better in the ninth inning or later. Those are incredibly important and incredibly useful to have on a player. But again, you don't just have to go out and find players that already have quirks. You can earn those quirks by increasing your player's ratings. Now, that's going to be different for Diamond Dynasty and game modes like that. You are going to want to go out and find players that have player quirks because, again, they're going to improve gameplay on the field for you, but you're not going to be able to earn quirks within Diamond Dynasty and, and modes like that. You're only going to be able to take what is given to you. You can't progress those players. So that is incredibly important to know within those game modes. So it kind of varies how to look at quirks depending on whether you're in franchise mode or Diamond Dynasty or competitive or anything like that. It's going to change a little bit depending on what you're doing. But ultimately what it boils down to is that these are unlocked as at a certain threshold for your player at a certain stat rating. So for example, Bomber, I believe is 90 power on both sides or maybe 80 power on both sides. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and actually we could probably check that because I know that I have a first baseman, Mason Martin, that's at 90 on both sides. So he does have Bomber and he did not have that trait until his power went up. So he's now at Bomber now that we took it up after he had a fantastic season. So they're going to unlock at certain attribute points, but then you're going to get an additional bonus on top of that from the quirk. So that's kind of a distinction that I'm trying to put into words is, uh, yeah, it bomber means that he has 90 and 90 on both sides, but it also means that in addition to the 90 and 90, he's getting an additional bonus on top of that. So it's not like he just has 90, 90 and having bomber is saying, oh yeah, he has 90, 90. No, it's saying he has 90, 90 and we're giving an additional additional bonus now because he has 90 power on both sides. So that's kind of the distinction that I'm, I'm trying to get into there. And there are other videos out there on this topic that do go into more length on it. And you can kind of see what each one is actually going to do. I highly recommend that you guys go out and check out those videos. I might do some videos covering those things, but it's something that other people are probably a little bit more knowledgeable on than I am with the specifics going into each individual player quirk that is available for YouTube. Obtain. And actually, I did want to clarify this one because I was talking about it in this video. The bomber trait specifically is actually unlocked at 7575. So Chris Mann's power rating is now 75 on both sides, and that's where he unlocked it. At the numbers below 75, he didn't have it. So it's actually 7575. So the threshold for some of these player quirks might actually be significantly lower than I originally thought. So you might be getting player quirks a little bit quicker with your players as they develop in franchise mode than I initially thought. And this is something that is worth checking out and worth knowing that's on your players. Because again, I think it's something that is often overlooked, especially for franchise players. I know that I overlook it oftentimes. And sometimes I catch myself saying, hey, I should probably go check out what these guys have so I know when they're getting bonuses, when those things are being applied in game so that I know how to best utilize these players as I move throughout my franchise mode and play games. So nonetheless, I do hope that this information was useful to you guys guys at least got you guys thinking about player quirks and uh, a little bit more knowledgeable about what they are and how they work uh, I do like I said hope that this was informative and if it was leave a like on the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel especially if you guys are new around here and haven't subscribed I'll see you guys as always in the next video and I hope you have a good one